I want to talk to you about like your acting stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's sure. yeah, let's hear it. Let's yeah. hear it. So let's what? See. So how did this even like happen? Uh, exactly. The stuff that I've been doing. Cause yeah. This project that's coming out. I mean, today is the thirteenth. By the time this is uploaded, it'll be like Friday. Because mm-hmm. uh, I'm. I want to space out some time uh, yeah. between the podcast. I well, just can we even today. talk about this? Because I know some yeah. people. Are yeah, yeah, we can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, the Price of Fame episode that came along this past summer in July. Mm -hmm. That was my first actual role where I had a speaking part. Um, What's funny is it's like by far and away, by far and away be the most viewed thing I've been a part of. (laughs) Like it's like part of like a network TV show and it was my first role. I haven't had anything nearly as big as that. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had like more lines and other things, but not as like recognizable of a role. But um, yeah, that came about. I just I, I I've got a well. How I really got into the acting thing initially was I took an acting class in Norman at this place called the Actor Factory, mm-hmm. and from there, like the, one of the biggest, like actually the biggest casting director in Oklahoma teaches classes there. Really? And uh, yeah, I know him uh, pretty well now. Um, and he basically it was audition for film and TV was the class, and. Uh, I took his class, kind of set up everything that we needed to know about auditioning and also just how to get plugged into the, the business. Right. And from there, I learned about these different talent agencies. I sent in a resume, and I even put my YouTube channel as a part of it because that's all I had to really show. <laughs> and I had been an extra in a couple movies uh, by that point. Out there. Yeah. Um, but uh, I sent that into this uh, talent agency called Magna. And they set up an interview. Mm -hmm. They uh, hired me as a partner. Um, And so after that, that was in May of last year. And uh, after that, I um, started to, they started to send me casting calls in the emails. And for like a month and a half, we got zero. I went on like nine auditions, nothing. Um, Yeah, it's super cut. I was like an extra, I was like an extra in, a commercial, but that doesn't take talent. Um, and then, but then I took, I did a video audition where I set up a camera, that camera actually, in uh, my sister's room and had Lenny read, read the lines to me and uh, we recorded it. And I remember sitting there, I was like, hey, that was, that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I, you know, I was playing this cigarette smoking hitman and uh, I emailed that into Magna. They emailed it to the, casting director for the price of fame i got like an email a week and a half later saying hey important booking notice and uh, i of course accepted and then i rehearsed for like three weeks with an assortment of friends Mm -hmm. in preparation to uh, go down to dallas and shoot it and um, i remember that night was like the night that like i showed up at the studio it's ams pictures uh it's a studio down in dallas and it's like it's like a real, like it feel like when you walk in, you're like, <laughs> Legit. I, I feel like I've made it. You know? <laughs> I only got paid a hundred bucks, but I was like, Worth every this dollar. is legit. Yeah. 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 Um, and uh, yeah, it was, yeah, the, the girl, uh, Taylor Stammen, she flew in from LA. Uh, and so it was neat to talk to her. Uh, and she was obviously getting paid way more than me. <laughs> yeah, because um, she was like, deservedly. Angelina she's Jolie. like the, yeah, she's like the star. And, uh, but no, I did the scene with her. It took like two hours. We did a bunch of different takes. And then I remember it wasn't even an hour. I think it was only like an hour and a half. But, uh, uh, you know, they filmed from different angles mm-hmm. and all that sort of thing. And uh, it was great. It was great. And the director was super nice. Everybody was super nice. They, you'll, if you see in the episode, there are tattoos on my neck. Really? Put on there. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Yeah. How and, long did that take? Uh, well, yeah, it took, well, that, that, that didn't take very long, the tattoos. Getting them off took a while because these were like Hollywood tattoos. So <laughs> they're not real, but they look real take and, a while yeah. to get off. The, you mm-hmm. have to like scrub with like a Ooh. sponge to get it off. Otherwise, it'll just stay there for <laughs> a long time, even if you take multiple showers. Um, <laughs> but uh, but no, yeah, that's how I that's how I initially got started, and then since then I uh, I've been in a couple episodes of a Life Church kids show, <laughs> Connect HQ, where I play a lumberjack kind of guy <laughs> from Montana, and then uh, <laughs> yeah yeah. Hey kids, it's Field Officer Seth here from Bozeman, and I, yeah, that's basically my character. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, I uh, 
is that who does the Vogue or something? Because I, well, I, I'm actually subscribed to you. Yeah. The, and like, is that like, is that character the one that was on Vogue? No, no. It should have been the character <laughs> that was in li- in the Life Church thing. But no, no, no. Paul Bunyan, that was just. Oh, is that who it was? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. But the, the, the Life Church thing was just. For fun. Hey, Connect HQ. It's Field Officer Seth here from both. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't. I was not like doing my my weird yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was being more of a normal character. Um, but uh, <laughs> no, yeah. If they if they'd been like, "Hey, we saw your Paul Bunyan thing. Can you do that?" I'd be like, "Yeah, yes, sir." <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, but uh, but no, I was in yeah, I was in the live church stuff, and then in November I was in a couple short films. Uh, I I can show you guys those. I can show you one of them. Uh, where it was, I was like in ancient Greece, uh, Socrates and all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like a week after that, a person from that project was like, hey, I'm making my own thing. You want to be see if you want to play this schizophrenic homeless man? And uh, man. yeah, I got that role. <laughs> I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed to get that. I'm supposed John. to get that footage this week. Now, obviously, I can't put out most I was able to put out the live church thing on Instagram because they said you, you feel free to share it and post it wherever mm-hmm. but most of this footage I, I'm not allowed to share obviously it's uh, legit well yeah yeah it's like I mean even though I mean the live church stuff is legit but you know the these like short films and that sort of thing it's yeah. like they're entering these things into festivals and if they're already posted online then that will kick them out of the festivals and yeah so you know I can't I can't Put them out online. Mm-hmm. Uh, Just yet. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't. It would be bad if I ever put them out, because then people may not want to hire me. Because they'd be <laughs> like, "Oh, this guy's known for putting out copyrighted work." You know? <laughs> I, uh, but no. But no. I can show. You know, obviously, I can show friends and family them. But I, you know, I can't put them on YouTube. Right. Because uh, okay. I don't own the, you know, the rights and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, but no. Yeah. And the the schizophrenic homeless man thing that's the one i really i mean obviously the one that's airing uh the price of fame tomorrow uh that that obviously i've been waiting for for a long time Mm -hmm. uh but the performance in the schizophrenic homeless man short film it's not called that but (laughs) (laughs) um that's the one i'm most interested to see because i played a complete it was really hard to figure out how to do but I played a very opposite character than I've ever played. I played, like, most of my characters, they have, like, a lot of confidence mm-hmm. in the way they talk. But for this character, I had to, like, like basically, like, be, like, a terrified human being. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, you know Breaking Bad? Yeah. Where, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Walt's son? Walter Jr. You know, yeah. yeah. You know, you know how he has that list? Was like, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. That was a part of my character. And so, like, my character was basically... And like, there's a whole part part in the film where I'm talking to someone who's not there, um, and so I'm just like, no, no, that's not, no. Why why can't you see it? And it's basically how I kind of am. Um, and then I'm like trying to get people to look at my art, but I don't make eye contact. So I'm, <laughs> so I'm like, excuse me, sir, would you like would you like to look at my, my some of my art? Okay, and that's basically how it is. I'm curious as to whether or not it's gonna be. I, I'm sure it'll be somewhat funny because yeah. they let me they let me ad lib a, a lot. They let me <laughs> like they we have this whole sequence. I think um, you know obviously I haven't seen it yet, but I remember we shot this whole sequence where I just was allowed. They're like just like just make up some stuff about like you talking to like this person that's not there and so mm-hmm. I was like I went on and on about the Oval Office and how all of my artwork should be up in it and all the other <laughs> artwork should be there <laughs> and, it, and uh, yeah it was it was a lot of fun but I'm really curious to see that one because uh, that'll be very very different and if, if I pull it off and I'm like if I'm, and if I'm like good in it then I'll be like yes this will be great for what is called a demo reel right which uh, you know went to my, I talked to one of the actors who was part of that and he said uh well, yeah, once you get that demo reel, uh, and it's like a good demo reel, that's when things start to pick up because your submissions for auditions, uh, yours goes to the top because you've got video footage, you've got more experience. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to hope. I hope to get that demo reel made this summer. But uh, That'd be awesome. Yeah, anything else you want to? Wanted to know? No, it was just that, man. Yeah. I just think it's awesome that you're yeah, really doing congratulations. it. Congratulations. It's really it. awesome, man. Yeah. Even though um, it's like really small steps, it's just yeah. it's a one big. So you got to do that stuff. Yeah. You got to pay yeah. your dues. You well, know? I mean, yeah, the, what was weird is like 
the, the my first role, the TV show, was like a big step. Mm-hmm. That and is, all the yeah, yeah. yeah. Big, yeah. and then all the others, all the others were like, were they were still like really, really good and really useful, but they were not nearly as like, like I said, like they will not be seen nearly as much as that first one. Yeah, uh, but I'm still, they, it's like more experience. The more experience, the better. Yeah, and you know, I, I've got a lot more footage now of stuff, so. Uh, it's yeah. great. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. 